Hello everyone, my name is Phantom Girl and welcome back to Let's Play Persona 5. In the last episode, we found out that Alibaba is Futaba Sakura and uh, that Futaba is Sojiro's daughter. And um, uh, yesterday we sneaked uh, inside um, Sojiro's house and scared Futaba. <laughs> And oh yeah, and Morgana disappeared. Apparently, Morgana was in Futaba place. So yeah, I guess we have to go to sleep. Here you are. You're just going to go to sleep without even wondering where I was. I was thinking about where you were. But the game just uh, told me you have to go to sleep. You cannot look for Morgana. So uh, where were you? I take it the chief told you about Futaba, and then you guys disbanded in uh, relief for now. Uh, well, I know how do you know that because uh, in the last episode there was a cutscene where you were in Futaba's room. Um, where were you? You cannot underestimate my intergathering skills, you know. Mm. I was checking out the chief's house. I didn't think our Alibaba would be so young. Uh, what was she like? She had long hair and a pretty young sounding voice. Well, I say young, but I think she's probably about the same age as you guys. Mm. At the very least, she's surely no amateur. She's completely overheard your conversation with the chief. And she can uh, hack into our chats too. Even if she can't take magic down directly, she might have some kind of a lead on them. What an odd girl. In any case, we'll need to rely on Futaba to get closer to Midget. Okay. <clears throat> Let's meet up again tomorrow. How about we do it in here? It's way too hot outside. Anyway, make sure you let everyone know. Sure. Gotcha. Oh, visiting Saison. Hi. Futaba Sakura? She had one of these palaces? Hold on. While Medjid was targeting you, you chose to deal with someone completely unrelated to them? I guess so. Yeah, they were unseen enemy. Then how was Medjid? What you said about the Sakura family generally falls in line with our investigation. It appears you aren't feeding us a false testimony. <sighs> you still doubt me? <laughs> you have quite the wit. Very well, let's continue. We've yet to determine how the Phantom Thieves dealt with Medjid, seeing as they are unseen. If you tell me something coherent, I may be a little more willing to believe you. It seems Sai and Ichima is starting to seriously listen to what I have to say. Nice! Still, to think the Phantom Thieves would have their hideout in the home of Wakaba Ishiki's daughter. <laughs> what a coincidence. No. Perhaps it's fate. Regardless, we don't have time to waste. Continue with your story. Both sucks, so get along. Uh, comments. Seriously? This seriously holding an emergency meeting right when summer break is starting? I guess they need to set some rules when the rules' eyes are on us because of the Phantom Thieves. Stuff like, don't do anything that will hurt the school reputation, spend your summer break quietly. I can't. I can't stay quiet with all this excitement going on, and the statement was insane. People of Japan, you must not worship the Phantom Thieves. They said it could just be a joke. There's, uh, there's a talk that this could be lead to the biggest leak of private data to date. I wonder if they're gonna uh, target on your site. I'm curious to see how the Phantom Thieves react. It's, uh, it's what I'm looking forward to most of this summer. It'll be the perfect escape from exam studies. 
But the Phantom Thieves need to take action. They're the ones major is after. It's bigger than I thought. We can't beat this beast. You're right. Yep. Let's get this assembly out of the way. We have our own business to attend to. Okay, let's get this over with so we can go home. An assembly during summer vacation? Are they crazy? I guess so. Our school's done for. I don't care what the principal has to say. They're so stupid. I wish I could change their hearts. Why not make a post? A request might be taken. Nope, it will not be taken. Man, that assembly had me bored to tears. Huh? Did you have school too, Yusuke? I'm doing laundry, so these are the only clothes I had to wear. You really should buy a couple more outfits. Come now, we didn't gather here to make small talk, now did we? Let's get to Alibaba's case. Well then, I'll start. It looks like Futaba was listening in on Leblanc. But why would she want to listen in on the cafe? Mm, maybe because she wanted to know what are we doing? I have no idea. It's just like Boss said, she's a tough nut to crack. In any case, her hacking skills will be absolutely necessary if we wish to stand up to Medjad. Going by what she has told us, we may even be able to identify who they are. We'll have to trust in her skills for now, then. Anyway, we found out that Futaba has a palace. But can someone who isn't evil have one? Uh, I guess so. That doesn't matter. A palace is the materialization of distorted cognitions brought about by strong desires. That's all. It just so happens that a lot of warped people turn out evil. She's so young, though. Pain she's gone through must be the cause of her distortion. Maybe that has something to do with why she calls herself Alibaba. According to the Chief's story, Futaba has auditory and visual hallucinations, right? There's a chance those are related to some important memories she's holding. It's hard to explain, but those memories may have been warped by the distortions. Basically, we just gotta steal her treasure, right? Well, yeah. So do we all agree about taking on Futaba's palace? I agree. She's asked us to do so. I don't think that part is an issue. Yeah. Let's help her. If we heal Futaba's heart, it will not only help Boss, but she can then assist us with Medjet. I agree. I've been wondering about how Boss said a lot happened after Futaba's mom died too. Hold on a second. Our investigation of her palace may not go like anything we've done up to this point. Uh, do you mean it's going to be different? How? How is that? Having an individual ask you to steal their heart is an extremely irregular case. Yeah, we're not going to be, like, sneaking inside. This time, like, she invites us inside. There's no telling what the palace ruler's disposition will be like, or the distortion that'll be there. We may run into some unforeseen situations. Do you still want to go in? Yes. Yeah, let's do this. Alright. Let's just make sure we're cautious. Well, let's get cracking on those keywords, huh? The ones we have at the moment are Futaba Sakura and Sojiro Sakura's house. We got the who and the where, so all that's left is the what, right? Let us try going to their house first. Uh, you mean break inside Sojiro's house again? Boss is busy running the cafe, isn't he? We should make sure he doesn't suspect anything. Important memories, huh? I'll be able to remember everything if I turn back into a human, right? Oh, you're thinking about thinking about that stuff again? Uh, well, I, it would be so cool if you were a human, but I don't think you're a human. And I didn't want to say that because I don't want to upset Morgana. But that's why I'm going to say I hope so. That has to be the case. I definitely want this mission to succeed. 
If we can retrieve Futaba's memories, then I bet we can get mine back too. In any case, it's not every day you stumble upon a hacker like her around. You really do have a gift, don't you? Well, I guess I'm just lucky. You sure live up to my expectations. Rank up with Morgana, yay! Ace tools allows you to craft an infiltration tools. All right. Like more stuff. It's been a hey, while since I crafted something. Us. Let's hurry and catch up to them. Hmm. Now the last keyword. She's a shadow, so we just gotta figure out what she thinks her house is. If she can get out, maybe a prison? We have Celebrant with an unknown exit. Mm, maybe an oasis? Nothing so, f uh, nothing so far. In that case, how about hell? <sighs> we don't have any... have nearly enough clues. If only we could ask her directly. We can. Come on, let's go see Futaba. But what will we say to say to get in? What do you mean? We're sticking in. <laughs> you have to be joking. Won't the door be locked for sure this time? I'll take care of that. Oh, I forgot Morgana is a lock picker. <laughs> Wait, if you can pick locks, why why can't you open the treasure chest inside palace? That's actually a great question. Why? Oh, and I figured out where Futaba's room was when I stuck in last night. But, hold on! What if we run into boss though? There's no way we'll be able to avoid his questions this time. He's at work now, so I think we should be fine. Getting cold feet, Morgana? Don't worry, it'll be nothing. We've gone through loads of shit like this already. This is our only choice, right? I suppose Futaba did get in contact with akira -kun. Perhaps she'll at least be willing to speak with him. Okay. Very well. Let's do this. Woo! This is Futaba's room. Private, do not enter. Futaba-chan, you're in there, right? There's no answer. Futaba-chan, are you there? I'm sorry for being startled and screaming yesterday. It was so dark that I got scared. No reaction whatsoever. Ah, this is gonna be hard. You're listening, right, Alibaba? Oh. Is it Alibaba? She responded to Alibaba. Why? Why are you not responding to her name? Do you hate your name? Why are you here? Why is she only reacting to that name? You're Futaba Sakura, aren't you? Nothing again. She's not responding again. Does she not like us saying her name? We don't have time to dally around. We need her keyword before dealing with Alibaba's identity. We want to learn more about you. If we don't do so, we can't steal your heart. The reason why we came here is because we need the keyword to enter your palace. That's why we want to talk with Futaba Sakura herself, and not Alibaba. You don't have to show yourself, just answer <clears throat> some questions for us. Chat messages are fine. Okay. Alright then. Our leader, the guy who lives in LeBlanc's attic, wants to speak with you. We're counting on you. Try and get a keyword out of her. What do you want to hear? Uh, how are you living in this house? It's painful. Um, um, do you hate it? I don't. Looks like you should ask something different. Okay. Uh, why didn't you go out? I can't leave this place. I'm going to die here. Uh, die? Is this going to continue? Uh, why do you think that? 
why? This place is my tomb. Tomb? You think that's it? Try entering tomb. Oh, we have a hit. Searching for route to destination. We got it. Was that enough? Yes. It was plenty. You haven't forgotten your promise of helping us if we complete your request, right? I haven't. We made a deal. Well then, let's hurry up and go. And clicky. Wait, Ryuji, not here. You idiot! Don't activate it here! What if we drag Futaba with us? What the heck are you doing? Always like that. God damn you, Ryuji. Wow. Is that a desert? a desert? Yeah, we see that. Wait. Wait. What the? Our, our clothes are still the same? Yeah, it's just what I wanted to say right now. Why? Utaba herself is asking us to steal her heart. It'd be odd if she saw us as a threat. Oh, that's why. If she doesn't see us as an enemy, then your clothes don't change. That's how it works. But That's so weird, though. I told you to be cautious. Why'd you activate it like that? Is that why we ended up in a desert? Where's the tomb? Oh, it's so damn hot here. Don't complain. It's your fault, you know. Even though we entered right in front of her room, we didn't end up inside it. She must really want to keep people away from her. Mm, I see. What a bleak feeling this place has. It's the complete opposite of Kaneshiro's bank. Let's hurry up and get going. Where's the palace? Is it that way? Oh yeah, there's something shiny. Yeah. The tomb in the desert. I see. Is that a pyramid? Anyway, let's make our way there. Isn't that kind of far? Are we gonna walk? Uh, Morgana, can, I mean, Mona, can you change into a car? Of course not. My paws will get burned. I've been waiting for this. Hmm. <laughs> I'll make sure to put the AC on full blast. You're so considerate. <laughs> right. All right, let's roll. <laughs> nice. Scorpion. <laughs> oh my god. It's stuffy. Yes, I know. But it still beats opening the windows to the hot desert air. Hey, On, can I have a drink? Didn't you have mineral water? I drank it already. <sighs> How are the guys? Uh, oh. Uh, oh my gosh, Ryuji! <laughs> <laughs> There's a bandage in the Morgana's window. Is that it? There we go. Oh man, this is so cool. And the music is awesome. Working at all. What the hell was that lukewarm air about? That was the best I could do, so quit your yapping. For real? You are so half assed. Oh, come on, Ryu Jim. We're gonna do oh, the best uh, he could. What was that? You wanna fight, punk? Jeez, shut up. It's hot, so don't make me more irritated. <sighs> to think her palace would be a pyramid. Hey, a pyramid's a tomb, right? 
Yes, it's a pharaoh's tomb. That's how it's mostly known. There are a variety of theories on it. For instance, it's even said to be a device for reviving the dead. Reviving the dead, hmm? It's beautiful nonetheless. It's perfectly conformed to the golden ratio. Hey guys, can we go in already? I'm gonna melt. This place looks cool. Oh man. Oh, it's so freaking hot. Come on, let's get inside. Uh, okay, let's change characters, I guess. I'm going to keep uh, Mona and um, I guess I'll keep Makoto. Let's go with Pe on. I mean, Panther. Oh. Yuji, you said you're, it's very hot, so you can rest. I cannot run faster in this form. It seems. That was Palace. So this is how she thinks of that house. Indeed. Who knows what may await us within? What is your call, Joker? Shall we head inside? Yeah, let's go. Okay. Okay, we'll find out more about our secrets in here, right? Yes. Indeed. Well, let's head inside. It's seriously very weird to walk around in a palace with these outfits. Wow, it's so nice inside. This is... Is this place uh, air-conditioned or something? It may be because Futaba room in reality has AC pump into it. Either way, this is a relief. Hmm, our clothes still haven't changed even now. This has never happened to us before. It is refreshing that she doesn't see us as, as a threat. But we are completely surrounded by walls. I guess this is a tomb. It's probably not made to be easy to get in. Anyway, let's explore. Hmm. Oops, didn't mean to do that, but... Okay, those are only stairs. That's a long way to go. These stairs could pre uh, go pretty far. There's way too goddamn many. Don't ask for too much. You should be happy we're not being attacked as we ascend. More importantly, I can tell the sense of treasure ahead. We're getting pretty close now. This stair seems to be headed into the heart of the pyramid. I wonder if that's where the treasure awaits. Well, time to keep climbing, then let's go. Hey. <laughs> Man, no enemies or nothing. I'm all for this shit like this. Hey! Do you think it's because she's mm. not a criminal? She did welcome us hey. in here after all. Don't let you go down, but this is a pyramid, so there may be still traps. Yeah, pyramid always has Beautiful. traps. So this is a mystical beyond gear. Do you think so? Can I, can I read so fast? You read yourself. Yeah. Oh! That looks like Futaba's shadow. Hmm, there's someone there. She looks beautiful. Hey, is this? That's Futaba's shadow. It isn't the real her. Oh yeah, you've seen her face. True, this one's kind of dressed like a queen. So you're Futaba Sakura. <sighs> hey, where's the treasure? It's doubtful that you wouldn't know where it is. Hey, say something. Don't be like that! I wonder why she's uh, like that. Is it because she's afraid of us? I'm sorry, Futaba-chan. It's okay. There's no need to be scared. So, can you tell us where your most treasured possession is? <sighs> this is going nowhere. <sighs> Let's just leave her. Will you guys shut up for a bit? Those who plunder my tomb. Why have you come? Oh, she's talking. She talked, but... What are you saying? You want us to steal it, right? If you believe you can steal it, then try as you might. That's rather defiant sounding. 
Perhaps this is that Sundere thing where someone is harsh or sweet depending on the mood. She's talking a lot differently from the real Futaba. Considering the state that my palace is in, there is no way that you can steal it. Creepy child! You killed her! You're a plague! What are these voices? Murderer! Why don't you say something? Murderer? Are those the voices that she's the real Futaba is hearing in her head? You're the one who killed it's her! Not your fault. This is horrible. Poor hey, Futaba. The hell is this? Don't, come don't near just me. stand there, say something! She's your disappearing. Fault. Murderer! That's right. I did it. What? I am the one who killed my mother. Really? It's very hard to believe. What the heck was that? What was that? My mother exists here. Your mother? I will remain here. I will do so until I die. Uh oh. That means there's going to be trouble. Close. She sees us as a threat now. What's going on? Oh, look at her room. This again. Creepy child. You killed her. You're a plague. With that Murderer. Man. Why don't you say You're something? You're the one who killed her. That's right. I killed mom. I don't deserve to be alive. This place is a tomb. I'll die here. That's right. Die. Don't come near me. Don't just stand there. Say something. It's your fault. Something help me! Poor girl. I still don't believe that she's the one that killed her mother. This is bad. I'm having a hard time getting grasp for a situation. We should regroup and... What now? Oh, oh, is that an Indiana Jones reference? Well, that was close. And she locked the stairs. Well, of course, it's never easy. We're safe, but it was too close. Now what? Even if we wanted to ask Futaba what's going on, it seems the door is shut. What should we do? I think our best option is retreating for now. This won't be as simple as we expected. Why don't we prepare a little more then come back? Yeah, good idea. Okay, then let's retreat for now and return to the palace another day. Ooh, that was... I don't know how to say. Cool and dangerous at the same time. Well, we learned a little bit of information, the date but that Medjid is set for the alleged cleanse is 821. That day is fast approaching. Well, is that our time limit? The Phantom Thieves, whom they singled out, have not made any notable actions at this time. Will Medjid carry out their cyber terrorism? In order to stop them, we need to help Futaba Sakura before the 21st. Our deadline is about two days prior, so the 19th. Meeting up in Shibuya, then coming here is a pain, right? Let's make this place our hideout for a while. Well, sounds good. Is everyone fine with this place being our next hideout then? Fine by me. We must take care not to be discovered by boss. I don't so think that's going to be a problem. Inside that pyramid. We all need to be cautious so that place doesn't become our graveyard. Man, this is gonna be one crazy summer vacation. We're dealing with international hackers and looking for a treasure in a pyramid. How can you be enjoying this? This is a crisis of whether or not our group continues on, you know? I know that. That reminds me. While we were in the Mona car, you were staring at me with a dirty look, <laughs> you <curve. laughs> I remember that. I actually, uh, were the... 
Shut up. Well, it wasn't Thank only Ryuji. You. you guys were looking too, am I right? <laughs> Indeed. The pyramid's golden ratio was truly a sight to behold. It ain't what I'm talking about. I wasn't staring Lady On. I'm a gentleman after all. <laughs> Where, uh, I mean, you were a car. Uh, even if you would want to steer, you would watch, I think. It's not that you weren't, but that you couldn't since you were transformed. <laughs> am I right? <laughs> <sighs> Will we be alright like this? Okay, hideout is Leblanc now. Hmm? Not again. Wow, what the heck? Why is she here? God damn it, Ryuji, I told you we cannot teleport from so near from Futaba. Mom. I hope she doesn't have the app. Well, that sucked. Is doing this really going to help us do something about Majed? Do I truly intend to follow through on the threat? It would be a shame if our efforts were a waste. Oh, it's Futaba. Majed will definitely make a move. Alibaba, I'm checking in on our progress. How much longer will it take? Your heart is more problematic than we had anticipated. Hey, Alibaba, can you really do something about Majed? Of course. Unfortunately, you have next to no evidence to support that. Your work will be rewarded, I promise. Besides, you have no other options, do you? I suppose that's true. Can you do stuff like take down the server? Show us. Hey, don't start any trouble. That's all it would take to convince you? Alright, I'll ask that you take care of this quickly. Until then... Wait, are you teaching us again? This is troubling, but we need to do what we can at the moment. I have a turn for Futaba herself during all this. Man, why does it have to be during summer vacation? We don't have any other choice. Okay, Akun, as always, we'll leave it to you to call us together. The sight of the, her palace bothers me too. We have to do this. Okay. Hey Mishima. Hey listen up, this is horrible. The fan site is gone. Oh, is it Futaba doing? I tried to access to where well, but it says that Peach doesn't exist. The fruit of my labor has completely disappeared. Oh, do you think it's because of Majid? Uh, <laughs> no, it's Alibaba. <laughs> Huh? Who's Alibaba? Anyway, this has to be Majid's doing. Is this supposed to be some kind of penalty for, for cheering for, for the Phantom Thieves? But wait, they're totally jumping the gun. There's still diamond to the queens. Hold on, something just came up. <laughs> Mishima, calm down. Everything's gonna be fine. Is, is this the proof enough for you? What's that supposed to mean? Do you think it's a virus? No. It's my friend. Don't worry. Oh. Calm down. Well, uh, it looks like everything's back to normal. Sorry for making a fuss about all this. I'm going to try and look into it a little more though. See ya. Well, I don't Baba proving what she said earlier. Talk about a crazy thing to pull off. Well, she did. Said she's going to prove to us. Okay, plant is okay. Um, and I have to go to sleep, right? Yep. Okay. For the honor of the Phantom Thieves, we have to we have to beat Majid. We will. Now then, helping for Tawa isn't the end, you know. You know that, right? We need her to help us take down Majid. Got it? Okay then, let the plan commence. Mission start! Woo! 
We have 26 days. Oh my, that's a lot of days. Holy moly. We have plenty of time. Okay. Mm. Oh, Jesus Christ. So many people want to hang out. Um, not going to hang out with you, Ryuji. Sorry. Not, not going to hang out with you, on. Not going to hang out with you, Yuskin. Um, Makoto. What are you doing today, Kirigan? I just finished up some student council work. I have some things to take care of and I'll, uh, and I'll be in the school recently. Let me know if you really need anything. Do I have her a uh, matching persona? Oh, wait, no. Uh, what was she? Priestess? I think so. Well, let's go. Hang out with Magoro. Have you decided on our plans for today? Yeah, let's hang out. <laughs> At a time like this. I guess if that's really what you want to do, is this part of your grand strategy? That's exactly right. I suppose it wouldn't hurt to take things a little bit slower. And I have the matching persona with her. And let's hang out with her. I have a small fear to ask you. Let's get a drink before we talk. Oh, and we can take the back entrance into the school. Actually... Apparently, Iko has started dating a host from a club near her work. I guess he, um, he done her one day after her ship, and that was that. Since then, she's the only one. Uh, the only thing she'll talk about. She even sent me a picture of their date at Destinyland. Um... I don't know what to say. Well, he sounds suspicious. You think so as well? For now, it seems that he, he hasn't forced her to spend any money at this, his club. But I'm still nervous. Beyond that, he calls her his princess. And constantly tells her how special she is. It makes me sick to my stomach. <sighs> but Eiko refuses to listen to me. She said the idea of all toasts are bad people outdated. She even said she was shocked to be getting advice from someone who would totally flunk a test about love. Huh. Tests about love aren't thing though, and even if they were, I most certainly wouldn't flunk them. Hmm. Are you sure about that? Sorry about that. I'm, a, I'm probably just being BS towards him. I mean, I don't have any proof that he's un untrustworthy. But that's why I want to meet him and find out for myself what kind of person he really is. And if it's not too much to ask, I'd like you to accompany me on this execution as well. Uh, Do you mean like on a date? This time, um, you'll have to be play the role of my boyfriend. Oh. Well, I got this, don't worry. It's honestly okay? He is so reliable, like I can. I think if I have a boyfriend, Eiko might be more inclined to listen to me. Actually, to tell you the truth, I actually already made a plans with her and her boyfriend for a double date. Well then, sorry. That's fine. Don't worry. But it's just going to be at the diner. Nothing particularly fancy, I promise. Thank you. Thank you. You had tr tremendous help. I'm so glad you agreed to this. I don't know who else would have asked if you had said no. I will never say no to you. You're my friend. And a future girlfriend. Alright. Eiko, I hope she's not getting herself wrapped up in anything dangerous. But just in case, I'll try looking for some info on the host. Okay. All right then. I guess I'll see you next time when you have the information.
What's gonna happen if he hit Midge's deadline? I'm sure the Phantom Deeds will do something about it. We don't even know who Midge is. What can they do about it? August 21st is the deadline, right? I can't wait. Oh man, we have to wait a whole month? Yes, you have to wait a whole month. Ah, you're back. Just what's, what's Midget gonna do? It is hard for me to even fathom what it could be. People have really, uh, people have really been up in our arms about the whole cleans thing. The think that a global hacker group would be talking us. Should we just ignore him? Yeah, great idea. Uh, sorry, my bad, dude. Actually, I actually didn't mean to make you feel bad. Sorry, Yuji. No matter how you look at it, we need our conduce measure. Our best bet would be Alibaba. But she may not be capable of it in her current state. I guess we should take off some other way to them. To them. Yes, it would be best to have as many solutions as possible. Well, we still got time, so let's come up with something good, okay? Sure, okay, have, we have two messages. Oya and Chaya. We cannot hang up with Oya, but... I want to hang up with Chaya. I really want to refine your skills. I have the perfect client for the test. When's a good time for you? Oh, wait, 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 wait. I need a fortune persona. Yeah. Uh, let's go to the velvet room. Hey, inmate. Hi, Caroline. I haven't seen you in a long time. And that's how you greet me. By the way, what did you want no. to see? I don't remember. <sighs> Lacazzi is the treasure. Mm -hmm. Huh. I think I have it open in here somewhere. The info about the twins. Give me a second. I'll Google it. Um, Persona 5 Twins Confidant. Mm. Let's see, look, Hesis, where are you? Fuse Copa Tengu and Rip Rider. I don't have those. Um. Wait a second. Uh, I know that you can fuse Isis and How goes the rehabilitation? with Amino Zuma, and um, it should make fusion. like Isis. I have Amino Zuma and Isis. You okay with this? But I need the so treasure. The you'd like to inherit. And these guys don't have it. Um. So. Um. Also, Principality. Um, do I have Principality? You'd like to read the compet you want to register it? Are yeah, you sure? register. These are the paths you have walked. Principality was... What were you? I can't remember. Okay, I guess I have to look for you. Okay, she's justice. This persona? You have to charge her. Uh, oh, I can. You can hold such rudeness. Sorry. <laughs> um, let's Hi, fuse someone. Like um, fusion. Because I can use principality and, and fuse it with Yakshini. Then Yakshini will f uh, go to Aminozume, and I will get uh, the thing. Okay, I'm going to fuse you. I don't need lovers anymore, I, uh, so... Yeah. Uh, with what, though? 
That's a hard question. Um, I guess you. Excessive power only leads to Oh, I to cannot do that. Um. Are you okay with this? Nah, so let's do this. Skills you'd like to inherit. Makoha, Lucky Punch, the Kaja. I guess I'll take Aha. We'll receive a girls. Let us begin. Oh, goddamn! Why did I take Lucky Punch? There was a Miracle Punch in there. Oh well. Defense for all. For, okay. Uh, get rid of this. Rage boost. Well, get rid of lucky punch. And um, who else? I need to get rid of someone else. You. Um. Oh, I have two chariots. So let's get rid of you. You okay with this? Choose the inherited skills, inmate. Zyonga. Uh, Stage hammer. I guess I'll take these. Don't actually care that much. Now for a rebirth. stuff always takes so long time okay now I can get principality and Yakshi uh, it was justice I think or judgment yes justice is it a fee is required that get you rudeness these Oops. are the paths you have and I need Yakshini uh, she was somewhere up here here she is is a fee is required this is your path such rudeness you wish to perform now choose okay this and okay this i will get aminozuma select the skills you'd like to inherit tetraja mm, i guess i take mopsy and makoha i see and don't register aminozuma So now, uh, if I fuse Aminozuma with Isis, I should get like Isis. Not terrible, but not impressed. Select the skills you'd like to inherit. And I have to treasure. Nice. Woo. Um. So what else? Yes, Mopsy. You have Moba Sweetie. Um, do I need an energy drop? I have Frey. I guess it's like this. And yeah, why not? Now for a rebirth. Okay. Okay, I have Ryuji, so soldier, Yusuke, Kawakami, uh, Takemi, Oya, do not need this one. Oh, and uh, actually Fortune, nice. Alright, who did I miss? I don't need Lovers anymore. I do need Priestess. Um, and I think that's it. Okay, let's get the um, Priestess Finished one. You read here. Priestess, Priestess. Let's get Isis back. Uh, and I think that's it for now. 
Now, it would seem... <laughs> I'm back, girls, and I have the request you wanted. Huh. Alright, let's keep moving to the next task before things get all messy like last time. No difficult questions, Justine. Just give him his assignment. Yes. Understood. Huh? What? What's, what's with you? You're not usually this cooperative. Cooperative. I have no intention of abandoning my duty. But I would like to know the truth of this situation. After all, we possess a mysterious list which seems to have a foretold to current state of affairs. Who wrote it? Why do I recognize the pen uh, penmanship? Why does observing gold feel nostalgic? And beyond that, what was the true intent of its creator? Yeah. I thought I said no difficult questions. To be honest though, I have arrived at a hypothesis. What? You know the answer? We managed the, the inmate's power via several arcana, which symbolize the mystic nature of this world. In truth, the encounter we share with him is represented by the strength arcana. Strength represents great power, a mighty will, and the awakening of the unknown. Sounds about right. Caroline, in our interactions, has the inmate been the only one to have had something awakened within him? Perhaps there lies the answer. What's that supposed to mean? Ah, uh, damn it! Why do I feel so weird? Uh, do I get my reward? Are you guys finished? <laughs> shut up! Sh shut it, inmate! Can't you see we're in the middle of something? Hmm. Although, this next task is gonna be the 8th one. There aren't too many left on the list. You've come this far, inmate. I hope you'll see it through. If you do so, the answer will surely become clear. And, uh, you're more than just some random schmuck to us now. You're the only one who can find the answer we're looking for. You got that, inmate? Yes, I do. Yes, madam. Three more tasks. All right. Listen up, inmate. Okay, next. You only gotta bring us one more persona before you get another reward. So, what's it going to be? Now, now then, I will give you our next assignment. Hecanton cherries with the skill Masukunda. Okay. Who the heck is that? Let me look that up. Uh, wait. Um, I need unicorn and lilum for that. Do I have them? Masukunda. Unicorn is Hyrafin, I know. Uh, I don't remember whose Lilim is. Uh, Lilim. Lilim, where are you? Do I even have Lilim? Don't even remember if I have Unicorn. Yeah, I don't have Unicorn. Oh my! Time. You wish to perform uh, now too. Can I fuse Unicorn? I can. Um. Oh wait, I actually can't. I'm low level. Okay, I'm going to come back here then. <sighs> Finished for now? Yeah, I think so. Uh, yes, I'm done. Slacking off. Yeah, you need Unicorn and Lilim to fuse uh, that one. Okay, do we have any new books in here? It's been a while since I checked. Welcome. One, only one, okay. Um, what did I want to do? I forgot. Oh yeah. Let's hang out with Makoto. Oh, wait, it's evening! Oh my gosh. Ah, oh, I want to hang out with Chihaya, that's what I wanted to do. Huh. 
so many people to hang out with. Well, I'm going to complete all of them. It seems that you have trouble with women. Oh my gosh. Uh, is it telling me that don't become... Uh, make uh, all the girls your girlfriends? Uh, otherwise you're going to get in trouble? Do you mean that? Well, I'm still going to do that. Hmm, there was a woman last time too. Wait, is that? Anyway, please be careful. Well then, what would you like to do today? Uh, I'm waiting for you. Let's do the verification test already. I will surely figure out your trick. Oh, will you, huh? We'll see about that. Oh, I was just about to do a reading for a client, so please stay and watch. The Morgana always goes uh, go away when I'm hanging out with people. Good evening. Hello there, Mifune Sensei. I can't wait for today's session. Your last prediction was practically perfect. By the way, um, who is this boy? Oh, he didn't mind him. That's just my apprentice. If anything, you can think of him as a human-sized stuffed animal. I mean, look how fluffy his hair is. Wow, thanks, Chaya. Wait, so he's okay with you, uh, working for you, uh, for a woman, even though he's a guy? <sighs> Something like that is just unthinkable in my line of work. Um, I think that to mean something else has happened with your job. Yes, a male coworker of mine was a keen all to credit for a successful project I put my soul into. And do you know what my boss told me? He said it was just a natural order of things, because I'm a woman. How terrible! That's why I'm digging a thing and starting up my own business. I've actually been planning for some time. I'm not sure if I'll be able to find a foothold in the market though. Here we go. In that case, let's ask for the tarot. Show us the truth, oh divine power. So, what's the results? Yes, I've seen everything. Hmm, the gods have appeared in the reverse. In other words, it seems as though your business is doomed to failure. Uh, no, w what should I do? I'm sorry, but in this case, it appears your fate is unsectable. Unsectable. Unsectable? What are your thoughts? Were you even listening? What shall we do? What can we do to help this woman? So, who is suppressed by the severity of a male dominating work environment? Um. Well, uh, encourage her. What? What? It's a little elastic to expect that will actually work. It indicates intentionally. What would you say if you wanted to encourage her? Um. Overturn your fate. Don't be so responsible, that's simply not an option. How can you expect her to overturn that status which is unacceptable? Overturning fate? That's right, I don't have to follow the rules of this oppressive society. I can do it, I'll reshape every aspect of my antiquity industry. My mind is made up, I'm going to quit my job and set off on my own private business venture. And if, it, if I fail, at least I won't be wasting away doing busy work for that sexist bastard anymore. Thank you, young man. If you'll excuse me, before the sensei. What? Wh huh? Haha, <laughs> I did it again. Your, f your father is responsible. Kusa-san, her misfortune has already been made clear. Chikots will surely back me up on that. Will they? What? Haha, <laughs> it, it seems this, the sequence of the gods has changed. Her financial future is now appearing as extremely successful. What did you do? Are you are you a psychic? Did you use your powers to change the order of the cards? My divine powers are capable of sending people like you down to the depths of hell, you know. Yes, that ha has to be it. That's the only way this could happen. Fate cannot be changed. Fate is absolute. That is how it must be. <sighs> Open your mind to change. That may not be such a bad idea. But if that's possibly worth the truth, how would I keep my Holly Stones business intact? 
um, is that the problem? You need money. Uh, I mean, if you sell the right stuff to the people, you're not going to be able to sell the holy stones, and you're not going to be able to earn money. Is that why are you lying to people? Uh, anyway, we've changed the floor of this thing twice now. But time's coming before my very eyes. That'd be helpful. It seems this verification process is turning out to be much more meaningful than I expected. Uh, well, we still have to go a long way. All right. I hope next time you're going to give me something good. I mean, uh, some kind of interesting power that I can use. You'll come back again soon, right? Promise me. Goodbye. I promise. Well, that's enough for today. Good night. Good night, yo. Um, I don't know how to make like countryside girls uh, wish. Someone is calling me. Yes, Ken. Since it's summer vacation, I'll be heading to the blank tomorrow afternoon. The cafe is a cool and quiet, and it's relaxing with the Sayuri there. It's a peaceful place. I'm thinking of relaxing and reading a book. <coughs> Moreover, we can easily meet up should something occur. We can kill two birds with one stone. If you'd like, we could spend some time together. Okay. So, Yusuke is going to visit me tomorrow, but I don't think I'm going to hang out with him. Hey! Hey, Akira! One of your friends is here to visit! So it's like Yusuke is here! Come on, let's go downstairs! Mm -hmm. Nice! Okay, the plan is still okay. Is on available! Ryuji is! Huh! Why? This is weird! Well, I guess I'm going to hang out with Ryuji then. This sucks. I wanted to finish on. Oh well. Here he is. Hi, you scam. Sorry, I'm not going to hang out with you. Wait, do I have a chariot persona or did I fuse it away? I do. Nice. Wrong buttons, okay. Uh, he should be in the um, arcade, right? What? It's raining really hard. What you oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. before I forget again, let's sell some loot. I always forget about that. Oh, huh? I still don't have enough guts. Okay. You should be grateful. Holy Jesus, that was a lot of stuff. Uh, come again. Okay, um now let's go. Not want to buy anything right now. Hey. Yo, okay. What are you doing today? Let's you hang out. Think? Yeah, we don't have plenty of time. Hey. Yo, what do you think about freeing a bit? We're gonna get first if you can keep keep us active. Not going to rank up, eh? Hmm. Yes. Yo. Let's hang out. Let's go some more fun. Yeah. Okay, then it's raining, so I don't actually remember where we were last time. Sure, let's go there. Oh, you wanna go to that monja shop? Let's make some tasty mirrors, dude. Let's go. All right, let's go. <laughs> Man, I hope our order comes out soon. My stomach's totally ready to go. They're teasing us with that. This is smell fifteen in here. 
Just make sure you don't wolf it down too fast and burn the inside of your mouth. <laughs> well, um, I can say the same to you. Oh, oh, someone's fired up. Lucky for me, I already know that. You're gonna regret underestimating the heat. Anyways, let's see who can eat the most. Well, start right now when the mochi gets here. Of course, cooking is part of the contest too. Oh, a waiter is coming over. Oh, I can't eat anymore. You ain't bad, Akira. I guess we tight. Well, I'm totally gonna win next time. You better remember that. <laughs> I gotta say, man. Food tastes great when I'm with you. Thanks for asking me out here. No problem. See ya. I had fun. Rain, huh? Just a few degrees cooler. We'll do it. Um. Okay. Twenty seventh. Wednesday. Okay. Sorry, Kawakami, not today. So, um, I'm thinking about... So, um, yeah. I'm thinking about going to diner. Let's order some uh, coffee. We're also going to increase our knowledge, 3 points because it's raining, and 1 point to Guts. Oh. We need Guts to stay so confident with EY. My points. Nice. It's taking so long to rank up. Want to head back? In this playthrough, I'm going to try complete all confidence and all stats. Again, someone calling me. Yuji, I'm gonna hang out at your place tomorrow during the day. If I'm at the hideout, I can move out whatever. Or I'll bring some manga so you don't need to worry about me. See ya. He's coming over tomorrow, huh? It's going to be noisy all day. Ugh, oh, I'm going to sleep. Them these made their moves yet. I don't get it. Are they just going to ignore them? I'm sure they're working on it. We're, we're gonna be in trouble if they don't do anything. I wish they'll take care of it already. We will, we will, don't worry, guys. Everything's fine. What are you doing? It's her again. How much longer are you going to make me wait? Do you not care about uh, me reporting you to the police? Oh, slow down, just give us a little more time. I can't do that. We're trying our best here. If you truly cannot wait any longer, go ahead and report us. Hey! Hmm, maybe I can give you a little more time. Maybe? Alibaba doesn't know what's going to happen and I'll be here for a while. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to sneeze, I think. Uh, I'm sure. She's just talking like that. Hey. And she's not going to report us. Nice. Land is still okay. On! Palace. Sorry, not today. Um. Takemi Yusuke. Makoro. Well, I guess I'm gonna hang out with Yusuke. Uh, I'm not gonna walk away. My voice is going to die. 
<coughs> it's you. Oh, Akira. What do you plan on doing today? Let's hang out. Why? To be honest, I think I have found a way to pull myself out of my slump. Uh, would you mind joining me again? Sure. Let us be off. I believe I will find out what I'm looking for at the church. Let us head over there. Church? Huh. We've never been in a church before. Hmm. Uh, be our team, love. It proved to be quite useful for me indeed. Okay. Uh, after I our enlightened session, I once uh, again attempted to paint. However, nothing I put on the canvas uh, was to my satisfaction. Before the gods of art, I am not but a lost sheep. Is that a reference from Catherine? Ah oh, yes, lost sheep. I have come here with you for precisely that, precisely that reason. Indeed. Our team today shall be anguish. I shall paint the anguish Christ, felt as he bore the sins of mankind. Um. Hmm. I have seen various sculptures and paintings on the matter, but merely replicating them will not do. Would any believers be willing to model and help me capture the true essence of anguish? It seems not. Well then. Very well. Akira, you will have to be my model today. Oh Jesus Christ. Oh my gosh. <laughs> do you want me to strip? <laughs> yes, that must be it. That is what I need. Seriously, I wasn't joking! Only a subject naked as the day they were born can convey the true anguish of birth. Now then, strip! Take it all! I wasn't joking! What the heck, Yusuke? Actually, perhaps not. Being found stark naked in a church will be even bigger news than the Phantom Thieves. We will be kicked out from here. Let us begin. Show me a pose that will put the anguish of Christ on full display. Oh my god. <laughs> what the heck are we doing? <laughs> hmm, I see. So this will be... No, perhaps... <sighs> it seems this is not working. I would like to capture anguish, yet you remain calm and composed. Even the slightest wrinkle can change one's impression of things. I shall not compromise, even for this sketch. <laughs> no. I look so ridiculous. Now, raise your hands higher. More, give me more anguish. Bring it to its upper limits. Like this. <laughs> People would think we're weird. Huh, this position. So this is the fashion of the Christ. Forsaken by his disciples, absurd as a criminal by the public, pierced with nails and hung on the cross. I understand now, <laughs> this is the true anguish of the passion. It feels as though something is boiling up within me. What are you children doing? <laughs> um. uh, well... This is an art study. Art? That? I'm attempting to paint anguish, so I decided to use the crucifixion of Christ as a point of reference. Uh, uh. So you're not interested in the anguish of the crucifixion? Hmm, well it is true that Jesus' crucifixion on the cross is a symbol of deep, su deep suffering. It also bears a much more posi positive message, one of resurrection of forgiveness. Oh. Resurrection? Forgiveness? I'm not sure I understand. Those ideas are contradictory to my conception of anguish. It may be difficult to grasp what I'm saying right now, but try to consider that the anguish one may will feel today will someday bring forth new hope. Ah, oh, and by the way, I suggest you continue excitement while here. You may trouble the congregation. 
So, these shocking depictions were actually meant to represent forgiveness, not pain. Hmm, hope from anguish. I'm not sure I understand. I must learn more about the hearts of men. Akira, do you think I will be able to capture the truth someday? Um. I'm sure you will. Indeed, if I do not have a belief in my own abilities, I will never come to accomplish anything. Hmm. This is exactly strange thought. Spending time with you has helped me discover new aspects of myself. You are perhaps a mirror of sorts. I'm in your debt. If there is anything I can do in return, please let me know. I wish to repay your kindness. Ah. Uh, my voice. I mean, my throat. Ah, uh, it hurts so much. Mm. All right. Let us return home for today. I bid you farewell. <laughs> Again, farewell. Oh, this is so ridiculous. <laughs> Wonderful. See you. Goodbye, Akira. Oh, that was awesome. Ah, you're back. Oh, okay, one message. Here I am. Please let me verify your skills. I have the perfect client for your test. Come on, don't you want to know? Just give me a bit of your time. Sure. I will be there. Okay, great, I'll be with you in the shop. Ooh, my throat. I need to drink something. Uh. Okay. Good evening. This is your first time coming to my stand, yes? Yeah, um, a college of mine recommended you. He said you can help me fix my problems, is that right? Yes. Of course, a fate is absolute. So, um, the deal is, I'm engaged to be married. Next spring, I'll be tied to the knot with a friend I had since all the way back in a preschool. <laughs> That's wonderful, congratulations! So, what's worrying you? Is it the date of the ceremony or perhaps the location of your honeymoon? Um, no, it's not like that. The problem is, I'm not entirely sure we'll be able to get married. The truth is, the president of one of our major business partners has offered me her daughter's hand. What? Ah, so this is what it means to be weighed down by so so societal obligations. But do, um, do you think it would be bad if I declare the president's coffer? <laughs> Please relax. The one power will bring us your power answer. I wanted to see power. So what's the diagnosis? Yes, I've seen everything. What's this? My, it seems you will face financial ruin if you decline. N no, does this mean breaking off my engagement is the only option? Um, um Kuzo san this may be a good time to demonstrate your powers. This man is bound by the feathers of certain obligation. How should we he move forward? Uh, I think he, he should go for the money. Uh, follow his heart. <laughs> oh, that's a wonderful suggest suggestion. Though I guess anyone could have come up with that answer. Incidentally, what would you say to make him choose his childhood friend? Um. Tears missed you her way. Uh, yeah. What? Tease? She's not a child. Wait, you really think someone else would try to go after her? Uh, I guess uh, guys would line up to date such an amazing girl. Well, I'm not going to let that happen. The only one who can make her happy is me. I was a fool for hesitating, even for a moment. I'm going to marry her. Thank you so much. It's happening again. Yeah, I did it again. So, you have altered fate once more. His fortune now states he will be quite successful. I had a question to your powers, but this is the third time. I have no choice. I must accept that fate. Uh, that fate can in fact be changed. You proven that to me. <laughs> a 
and as a sign of my thanks for showing me the crew. I provide a special fortune service for you from now on. Uh, what kind of service? Mm, temple increases money earning from battle. All right. No, I want the one mm, that will help me boost my confidence. You know, I never thought it was possible to change destiny. Are you perhaps a psychic? Nah, I'm not. Uh, I'm not, sorry. I see, I wish there was a way I could meet one. But for now, that wish only reminds me of my inability to change my own fate. I will forever be a monster. Wait, monster? Oh, um... What do you mean? Um, my, it's gotten so late. She's changing the subject. I should step back enough for today. I'll see you next time. Well, bye, bye I guess. She's hiding something. And I'm going to get to the bottom of this. Again? Who is it this time? Mishima. Got some intel that some weird has been showing up at the planetarium. Since you're finally on summer vacation, you should come on and help me investigate. We have to punish that deviant and save the children of summer vacation. Let's go together tomorrow. Um, I'll respond to you later. I don't think I will go there. Okay, um, I'm going to leave this episode here. Nice. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe. And leave a comment below. And I will see you in the next one. Bye bye!